and some progress made there today. But first, our Kaylee Hunt is in Fresno County with that new interactive tool residents can use to check to see if their home was damaged. And Kaylee, you spoke to someone who already used it. That's right. This new interactive damage map lets people put in their addresses to see if their house has any fire damage. Now, the homeowner I spoke with today says this new tool gives them a peace of mind. We were kind of in the dark for about 48 to 72 hours, so it was kind of wasn't really comfortable. Al Gonzalez has a cabin in West Village off of Toll House Road in Shaver Lake. Gonzalez says he was not home during the mandatory evacuations, so he wasn't sure if his house was affected by the fast growing blaze. We have a lot of stuff there because obviously we live two minutes, three minutes from the lake and we're fi a five minute walk from town, so we have a lot of personal belongings in there. Fresno County and Cal Fire just released a new interactive damage map allowing homeowners to put in their addresses to see if their home was affected by the Creek Fire. Of course, there are thousands of homes which were in harm's way from the fire as it was moving through up in eastern Fresno County. So what this mapping tool will allow is it gives people real time information um, on their homes. Fresno County Supervisor Nathan Magsick says this is a game changer that can potentially help tens of thousands of people who want to check on their homes. You know, we're all trying to keep up with everything. And when um, I was sent the map earlier, I was able to go on there. It's very interactive. Uh, zoom in and out, kind of like you do with an image. And then you can, if you have a good idea where your home is, you can tap on it and it says no damage, damage. Although the Creek Fire is growing in size, burning more than 195,000 acres, fire officials say the speed at which it is growing has decreased. Now they're switching to a more offensive battle rather than defensive. Now we're introducing things to really tie in the line, secure it, rather than just uh, doing structure protection and, and hopping from spot to spot, trying to stay ahead of the fire. Now we're very deliberately going out, we're putting in line, we're getting ahead of it, we're putting in secondary lines. Now, for more information on this new damage map, head to our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Reporting live in Fresno County, I'm Kaylee Hunt, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.